welcome. Welcome once again to Meditation from the Holy Hill, St. Anne's Church in Fox Hill, New Providence. And your host is the Venerable G. King Sinol's assistant priest there. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ in his earthly life shared our toil and hallowed our labor, be, be present with your people where they work. May those who carry on the in industries and commerce of this land be receptive to your will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, now and forevermore. Amen. Today's reading is from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 12, verse 13 to 21. St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 12, beginning to read from the 13th verse. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. But he said to him, Friend, who set me to be judge? an arbiter over you. And he said to them, Take care, be on your guard against all kinds of greed, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of the possession. Then he told them a parable. The land of a rich man produced abundantly, and he thought to himself, What should I do, for I have no place to store my crop? Then he said, I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build larger ones, and there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this very night your life is being demanded of you. And the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So it is with those who store up treasure for themselves, but are not rich toward God. But are not rich toward God. He said, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the family inheritance with me. The man this man was consumed with his problem, and he had come to try to get Jesus to resolve his problem. He did not come there to have Jesus change his heart. He wanted his problem fixed without confronting some deeper issue of sin in his life. In his mind, his problem was his greedy brother, who wasn't giving him his fair share, share of the inheritance. Surely Jesus would see the injustice of this situation, and uh, rightly so, and right the wrong. Jesus saw that his words revealed his heart. The man's, the man's heart problem was not his brother's greed, but his own greed. Jesus shows him that his true need was to be ready for the next world. To be rich, we must be rich toward God. Jesus issues a strong warning against greed in the parable. Beware and be on your guard against every form of greed. For not even when one has abundance does his life consist of possession. Then he told the parable, to drive home this message. We all have a choice about how to invest in our lives. The choice, simply put, is greed or God. Greed or God. But Jesus drew the line plainly when he said, you cannot serve God and mammon. St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 16 and 13. He did not say, should not, but cannot. It is an impossibility to serve both masters at the same time. 
you must choose one or the other. The man in the parable saw himself as the owner of his own and that all that he had, he believed that he had it of himself. The Bible declares, the earth is the Lord and all it contains, the world and those who dwell therein, Psalm 24 and verse 1. So today, where is your wealth? Who are you accusing of being unfair with it? May you be richly blessed by the one true and living God who has the best answers for your quest. In his name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.